All right, we're going to be back working on this Mastercraft. I really wanted to take this somewhere else where it was more level to try and get this thing off the trailer so I could sand where the bunks are to do the bottom paint. But I still don't have my truck back. So I really have no way of moving this boat. And I want to hurry up and get it done so I can try to sell it. Uh, and it's a good time of the year to try to sell a ski boat. So I'm going to have to work on it right here in the dirt and grass and mud. So we're just going to do what we can. Uh, like I said, uh, this needs to be done on a flat surface. Uh, I'm hoping I can make it work. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to totally remove the trailer. I'm just going to try to get the boat up off of the bunks where I can get up under there and sand it and paint it. So it's not like I'm going to be under the boat where it's just free floating. Worst case scenario, something falls, it's just going to land on the trailer. But what I'm going to go ahead and do today is start sanding on it. Uh, sand the spots that I can get to. Uh, sand the spots where I'm going to build a cradle to hold the boat up off the trailer. Uh, that way I can go ahead and build the cradle, get the boat sat on it, then sand where the bunks are and paint everything, get it off the cradle, the crib, and then take the crib out and then paint the spots where it was being held up, if that makes any sense. So, uh, like I said, we're going to go ahead and start sanding it. I've um, got Total Boat Paint to do this, and they, it, they recommend going 220. I'm going to hit some of these spots because the paint's kind of flaking on spots, and you can see like the the gel coat or clear coat under it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start out with 120 on some of the rougher spots and then go back over everything real quick with 220 uh, kind of smooth out any kind of scratches so that's what we're doing i'm using a mouse sander hopefully i can get almost everything with this mouse sander i said we ain't trying to get rid of any kind of huge scratches or anything so basically what we're just trying to do is rough it up a uh, couple spots that i patched will need a little extra sanding but besides that, we're just roughing up the paint that's on there to help the new paint stick. All right, well, let's get to work. We got the boat over at Amanda's house and we're gonna try to get it lifted up off the trailer. And what I'm using is some four by four posts, some treated posts just like you'd use for fences or whatever. Uh, I had all these cut at my house and had it all stacked up, but it just, it just wasn't level enough at my house. I was scared the angle of it was digging into the fiberglass. So we're gonna try it here and see if we can uh, figure this out. First thing we need to do is lower this jack all the way down and then we're going to stack up the 4x4s under the back of the boat. We got it off the trailer. It's uh, pretty close on the bunks, but I think it'll be good enough for uh, what we're trying to do. I cheated a little bit with this cherry picker. I was going to build a crib for the bottom of it, the front, just like I did the back. But I saw this sitting in my brother's house the other day in front of his shop, and it's got that perfect bolt right there. So it was a no-brainer to ask if I could borrow it. So that's helped me out a lot and saved me some time and some wood. Wood's expensive. 
So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and take the little mouth sander with 120 grit and try to hit all the spots like right there where I couldn't get earlier and where the bunks are. I probably have to do that by hand and uh, go ahead and wash it up, acetone, start taping it off and get this sucker painted. Hopefully it's gonna be pretty quick. Unfortunately, I waited to the hottest week of the year to <laughs> do this project. So, all right, uh, let's see if we can beat some of this heat. taped off and it's wiped down with acetone probably should have used grease and wax remover because that's what they call for they have their own grease and wax remover i just i didn't think about it i got all this stuff over to manda's house and i already had to make one trip back home so we're gonna hope that acetone is fine so what we're going with is total boat wet edge this isn't bottom paint as far as I'm concerned, if I keep this boat, it's not gonna be stored in water. So this should be fine. I talked to the guys from Total Boat and they said that's fine. They also recommended this special brushing thinner to go with it. And the directions say you can thin from five to 10%. So what I'm gonna do is do eight ounces of the thinner and just fill it up to two quarts with the paint. And hopefully that'll be enough. Well, Hopefully I won't be wasting a lot of paint doing it that way. I don't know how much this is really gonna cover. So the first coat's really gonna be a, a learning curve anyways. So we're gonna figure it out after that if, if we need to mix more or less or whatever. As far as putting it on, I'm just gonna use a foam roller for most of it. And then there's gonna be some parts where I'm gonna use a brush. I'm gonna try to get away with using these little cheap brushes, but if it just looks like crap, cause these things just like, I mean, you ain't gonna get a very smooth finish with these. So depending on what it looks like, I brought a nice purdy paintbrush that I can use to smooth it out if I have to. And I'm gonna pour the paint in one of these little cheap paint trays. And uh, we're gonna try. We're gonna try to see how good we can get it. And uh, I'm gonna try to do three coats, I hope. So one coat today, probably have to let it dry and then I'll come back maybe tomorrow and i'm about to work some overtime so i might not be back over here till like next tuesday but hopefully we can get it knocked out and i am ready to uh, get done with this bottom paint stuff all right let's get to work all right just one thin coat got back as far as I could which I still have some I don't know if you can see it right there not if it shows up but you can still see the old paint I'll hit that on the next coat with a brush I just really wanted to see how this paint was going to flow I think I thinned it out a little bit too much it's hot so I figured it would be okay but it was a little runny but I think it's okay I'm sorry for the glare earlier and it camera got too hot and it shut off on me but you get the gist of it I was painting a boat nothing really spectacular going on hardest part was laying on my back and using the extension pole to get as far back as I could all right it says I uh, wait at least 16 hours between coats so I'm done until hopefully tomorrow I'll come over here and put the second coat on and then we'll see if we need a third coat which it looks like it probably will got plenty of paint though I used way too much I just poured it right back in there with you know, the mixed up thinner or whatever, it'll be fine. I might add just a little bit more thinner to it tomorrow to make up for it. All right. We on hold till tomorrow.
that's the second coat. It's definitely covering a lot better and it looks slicker now. I added just like two splashes of thinner to it, to that whole gallon, and just poured some out. And so it was a little thicker, but it's, it's act like it wanted to sag more today. But as you can see, I still got some of that gray showing through. So I'm hoping one more coat will get it looking pretty good. Fingers crossed. I don't want to have to do two more coats. All right, that's probably gonna have to wait until Tuesday. All right, we got three coats on. It looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. It's got some trash in it. I definitely could have took a little bit more time, but painting the bottom of a boat when it's still on the trailer is not the easiest thing in the world, if you can imagine. But uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do now is get this tape off and hopefully it didn't bleed up under it. If it did, I still got some of that pinstripe and I'll just pop that pinstripe down the very bottom of it if I gotta hide anything. I think that'll look okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and get it back on the trailer. I gotta put some carpet on this. I ripped the old carpet off because it looked like crap, but I got some extra black carpet with me. We can go ahead and put that on and Get the crib off on the back. Get this thing back on the trailer. Back to my house, out of Amanda's way. That way she can have her driveway back. see it did bleed through like i think this is probably one of the worst spots it ain't terrible looking but it won't pass the mustard for me so let's fix that real quick there we go that looks much more better and it matches the theme of the boat i went ahead and went all the way around with it that was kind of a pain in the butt to be honest with you but we got her done and that's going to be it for this video I actually still do got a little bit of painting where the crib was. I need to do that. And uh, still got a little bit of tape under there. But as far as painting the bottom of this boat, that is gonna be it. Like I said, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I could have made it look a little better. Uh, but, you know, as far as the paint, how, how it turned out, you know, I'm really impressed with it. Uh, total boat wet edge and <laughs> definitely not a sponsor i wish because that stuff's expensive but it actually it really performed good and i'd like to point out that them guys were very very helpful their customer service is really good so if you got any questions about what you should use on a boat like i did uh, you reach out to them uh, they responded within hours and uh, really helped me out so shout out to those guys and uh I said I, I definitely would use that paint i like that paint right there you know if you remember the skiff i used total boat aluminum boat paint on it and wasn't a hundred percent happy with it but uh this stuff more than made up for it fiberglass boats get total boat paint I, i'm seriously <laughs> it looks like i sprayed that on and i just rolled it on with a cheap roller turned out really really good all right guys uh you see my this boat is dirty I'm kind of in the process of filming the next video, and it's going to be all about cleaning this sucker up, and hopefully that'll be it. One more video, I think, uh, cleaning it up. I got some products uh, to shout out from a company, and I'm excited about doing that, and it's going to be a lot of that on this next video. But thank God that is done. That, that, was, that was a lot of work. It was a, a process doing it, but I'm glad it's done. 
All right, guys. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you on the next one.